All right, welcome back to the channel. Sam here from GSK Wealth Builders, and today's segment is called Get Yield. So Get Yield is going to be a segment that I do upon my favorite my favorite uh, part of crypto and my favorite part in finance, which is making money with your money, right? So a lot of people get in crypto and they, they think that they can just speculate in coins, and they can. Um, they can do that, but I feel like there's two ways to do it. You should you should be speculating on coins, and this is not financial advice, obviously, but speculating on coins and they go up, and then you should take a portion of that profit and put it into a treasury. And what a treasury does is it helps you get yield. So you're gonna you're gonna have money making money regardless of if the market goes up or down. You're gonna have a steady stream of income. So every time you have a win. You can take a portion of that win, say 10%, 15%, take a portion of that win and add it to your treasury. And the point of the treasury would be to get to a point where you can replace your income. Um, and then you, you have your built your own pension, right? So this is uh, the first episode of Get Yield. And I'm going to talk about just what I'm doing to get yield right now and what I'm testing out. So we're going to go to my first... Um, my favorite coin, Nexo. I wouldn't say my favorite coin, but my favorite bank coin, right? Binance is my favorite coin, but uh, Nexo is my second favorite coin, and they're like a bank. Binance is like a full service industry. Nexo is a bank. And what I like about Nexo, I got in on Nexo on the ICO in, I think, 2018 or 2017. I didn't uh, put too much in the coin, and it's, it's done amazing, right? This is a billion dollar company now, uh, and you can earn. On your crypto so now here's here's the situation if you have coins like ethereum uh, that you're holding on to ethereum binance coin all these other big coins bitcoin what you can do is you can hold them in your wallet and just wait on the price going up or you can put them in a smart contract where you're earning yield or you can deposit them into a third party so obviously you always want to keep them in maintain control of your coins if you send these to nexo they they own your coins temporarily right but and then you risk of them getting hacked and whatever but you're going to get yield so today i'm doing a test i have a lot of binance coin bnb so what i'm going to do is i actually what i've already done is i've deposited my binance coin into the nexo account so what they're going to pay me um, there's different levels, right? So you have basic, I think, gold, maybe may basic silver, gold, platinum, something like that. And I'm platinum. And the way you become platinum is you buy 10% of your holdings has to be Nexo coins, coins. So what I did was I converted some of my Binance coins into Nexo coins. Once I hit 10% on platinum. Now what that does is it gets you extra yield, right? So you're holding... The, the coins you're you're increasing your risk in my opinion you're increasing your risk because now you're holding nexo which is not as strong as a coin of uh, as binance but it's a it's a strong coin and then what you're doing is you're going to get seven percent so what they're going to do i deposit my binance coins i'm going to put i'm going to get seven percent on my coins and then every day they're going to say interest earned interest earned interest earned and it's it's a percentage of binance coins now if you want to juice it up right you can you can hit earn in nexo and they'll pay you in nexo coins right and then you get an extra two percent on your yield so that's great so that's what i just wanted to show you and these are the assets they that they got so they got usd tether usd coin paxo usd right five us one two three four six usd coins and they got bitcoin ethereum xrp Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, BNB, EOS, Chainlink, Stellar Lumens, Tron, and PaxG. So these are like the, the top tier large cap coins. And they've been around for a long time. They have stability. So Nexo hasn't really added any new coins. But if you have some Chainlink sitting around, if you have some XRP sitting around, why not earn yield on them, right? So that's what you do. So that's uh, number one. Now, number two is how are they getting that yield to pay you, right? So if you self-stake, now if you take the responsibility for staking, for example, Binance 
invested in Trust Wallet. They bought Trust Wallet, I think, in 2018 or 2019, right? And then Binance, the way they do it, they're centralized, but they have validators. They pick who their validators are. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Binance coin and you're going to delegate your Binance coin to a del to a validator. The way it works for this system is you have you're you're sending them your coins in a smart contract, right? And then if you want your coins back, the caveat is if you want your coins back, you have to wait seven days for to, for the unstake, right? So if I stake today and I'm staking for a month, all of a sudden I think the market's gonna crash and I want to get out. I can't get out today. I have to wait seven days, right? So then you have the balance of scales. Would I rather have absolute freedom where I can sell my coins whenever I want if I think there's a crash and I get 7% or 8%? Or would I want more returns, more yield, and I have to wait seven days to do anything and touch with my touch my coins and it could be eight days it could be nine days it could be ten days right so yeah just comment below what would you prefer would you prefer seven percent with unlimited freedom or would you prefer thirty percent with a seven day holding period or seven day cooling period just comment below i want to know what people think because 30 there's a huge difference between 30 percent and seven percent so now i go in here so say you put in 100 Binance coins into the trust wallet staking system. What's going to happen? You're going to earn 0.1 of a BNB per day, right? So that's 0.1 of a BNB. What's BNB right now? So Nexo is $3.39 right now. Pirate coins taking off. It's crazy. Oops, Venus BNB. Jeez. What's going on with my internet? So 0.1 of a BNB per day, 514, $51 a day, right? So if you have $100,000, I mean $50,000 around, right? $50,000 in BNB coins, and you staked it at this 30% APR rate. Actually, it's it's 42 in the wallet right now, but it changes, right? It starts really high. Once there's a lot of money, it drops. So yeah, 100 coins and you make 50 bucks a day in earnings and it all compounds. And then your monthly earnings is what? 15, 2.5 BNB. So two is a thousand. So $1,500 a month in earnings. That's a good, you know, that's a good amount of money, right? So that's what I'm doing. So I, I put, I started off, I wanted to put, I think I put five BNB in there to start. And then if, if it works, because I want to know if it's, is it dropped daily? Is it dropped monthly? Is it dropped weekly? Is it even going to work? I went on Reddit. So if you've, if you've done this with Trust Wallet, let me know. Um, I'd like to talk to you. But yeah, so the daily earnings on five BNB is going to be 0 0.005 BNB per day. Uh, 1.5 BNB in a year. So my my point is, if you believe in this coin, why not get more for free, right? And if you don't believe in the coin and you're just holding it short term, well then maybe Nexo is your your thing. So let me know uh, what would you what would you do, right? So option A, unlimited freedom. You can sell whenever you want. Seven percent annual return. A little bit of a restriction. Seven day holding period or seven day cooling period. Thirty percent return. And I'm coming. I'll come back to you with updates the same way I come back with the updates for, for, uh, for mining helium. So after a week, I'll come back with an update. After three weeks, I'll come back with an update. After a month, and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's all I got for now.